Was it there? Yeah, Sandin. Guy lives on top of the mountain and gardens on top of the mountain. Last year, I trimmed down my avocado tree, um, pruned it, reduced the branch density and all that. And guess what? It grew a few new branches and they produced like nobody's business. And I'm busy harvesting those avocados as we speak. Check this out. Like I said about the avos, my tree, this is my tree, this is my tree behind me here, I don't know if you can see any avos hanging there, but uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll try and show you where I, I, I chopped off roads on this tree, and then where, wherever I had chopped off a branch, two or three branches grew around and then those two or three branches gave a hell of a lot of avocados like i said we've been eating these avocados since uh, what i think around june you know and and there's still like plenty of them there's still like a hell lot of them that i'm trying now to get rid of so that there is space for new avos to come out and you know the tree is busy um, producing more shoots or growing itself and all that so i think i should be taking all these um, uh, fully grown avos and eat them and yeah allow the tree to to to, to bless us with more avos yeah and it's crazy because when we bought the property, this tree was as good as dead, basically. I mean, I'll show you just now. Um, what was left of it, I don't know whether it's termites or what, but it had been um, eaten up, corroded, whatever the, the word is in English. And it looked like it, it, the only thing there was left basically was for me to chop the whole thing, the, 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 the stem, throw it away. But I believed in it, I worked on it, and uh, it's beautiful now. It's beautiful and it's producing. It's the same with the lemon tree there, and it's the same with the orange tree that I've just sort of like cut it all out to give it a new lease in life, to grow afresh. and. But uh, that's, that's a video for another day. Today we're doing the avos. Okay, let me show you this. Right, so as you can see, uh, see here, this tree was as dead. This is uh, now, this is from it healing as I'm working on it. And now it's healing, it's closing this hole gap here it's 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 it's, it's yeah it's, it's basically healing and repairing itself in a way it, you can see it it come from here all the way all the way all the way up there you know um there was um there was a whole lot of like sort of mud you know or, or sand here with um these insects they look like termites sort of like i don't know if they're termites or what and then uh, uh, and ants and yeah, it, it was it was just like it was dead. It wasn't like this. It was it wasn't like this. So I came in, uh, opened up here, started watering it, I started feeding it. Uh, I'll take some of my compost from my compost pile, put it here, turn it. You know, I, like now this I put, when I, I cut grass here on the on the yard, I put it up here, patch it up so that when it rains or when I water, the water stays. It doesn't run off. And then now it's looking pretty good. I mean, for, for what it was, it, it's, it's looking amazing right now. And it's producing. It's not looking amazing. It's producing while well, these are little, these ones are tiny. It has big ones up there. I'll, I'll go up just now and, um, and you'll see. And I mean, now I can climb, can climb up to that far with confidence that it can support me but back then yeah i don't know i don't know what to say you know anyway so let's go up you can see here 
this is all from the tree this is all from the tree so i'm gonna put it all back here and go back with this plastic back to the tree and using my uh, clamping tool or pruning tool and then i cut the others off the tree because i don't want to drop them i don't want them falling because if they fall they get damaged inside and as they ripen and you can't literally can't eat them because they're so bad inside so that's why i go with the plastic bag in my arm and then i cut and i put nicely on the plastic bag and then i come and i offload yeah yeah a lot of others to eat wow the bag is empty and we're gonna go again on the tree and look how much we have here maybe i should be a supplier of ours and uh, this is not the first uh, harvest in actual fact uh, i've been harvesting them since the other season started and uh, i've shared some of them with my family members and we've ate a lot of them but now um because the tree is in the process of uh, producing new shoots and all that so it's regrowing I'm, I'm harvesting all of these guys so that um, I allow the tree to put the energy of producing new shoots and growing in that process instead of um, putting the energy in, uh, you know, maintaining these guys and feeding these guys. So, yeah, going back to the tree now, putting these in my garage because I don't want the monkeys coming passing here and having bite on them okay let's go Hi there. i hope that you've learned something out of this video and that you got something that you can use on your end don't forget to subscribe like the video share it and i'm out